so uh, I'm shooting another video with my Sony action cam. I've got it on a suction cup mount today, and I want to talk about vortex shedding. Now, I know, you're thinking, what the hell is a vortex shedding? Alright, so vortex shedding is what happens when a fluid flows over an object and doesn't do it nicely. And that's pretty much the simple way. If you, if you really want to see it, Google YouTube for vortex shedding. There's some great simulation videos out there. But in practice, what is vortex shedding? Well, when it comes to roof racks, <coughs> when it comes to roof racks, it's when the air comes up over the windshield and hits your roof rack. Okay, well, that happens on every vehicle. But when you have a vortex shedding problem, the airflow buffets the back side of your rack, and it does that the whole time you're driving down the road. So it's extremely irritating. On a Ford Escape, it happens at about 60 miles an hour and gets worse the faster you go. If you have any headwind, you get extra credit for going fast. So it can happen to you with a 15 mile an hour wind coming at you. It can happen to you at 50. So the solution is either buy a fancy rack that has fancy shaped pieces or do what I did. Wrap a piece of rope around it. The rope interferes with the vortex formation and pretty much eliminates the vortex shedding. So the solution to this is a piece of cheap half inch rope um, I'm using nylon rope because it looked like the thickest rope I could get my hands on for the amount of money. And I just simply wrapped it around here, tied it off, it's melted so it won't fray any more than it already has. And it uh, pretty much solves the problem. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you're having noise problems with your roof rack, before you move the roof rack, go insane or, you know, buy something that's stupid expensive, try wrapping a piece of rope around it. You might be surprised. It might just eliminate your noise problem. Thanks for watching.